Dear student, we shall factorize the third and fourth sub polynomials of fifth main of x is 4.4 of polynomial chapter of class 9th mathematics. In the previous video, so we have factorized the first and second sub main polynomials. Now, the third a polynomial is x cube plus 13x square plus 32x plus 20. And this is a cubic polynomial. Because highest degree of the variable is 3. That means this polynomial will be having 3 factors. Because for 3 values we will get a remainder equal to uh, 0. Now we shall look for all the factors of 20 because the last term is 20. Now which are the factors of 20? 1 because we can divide 20 by 1 then minus 1 we can divide 20 by minus 1 then 2 we can divide 20 by 2 then we can divide 20 by minus 2 so minus 2 is also a factor. 5 is a factor of 20 because we can divide 20 by 5. Again we can divide 20 by minus 5, it is also a factor. We can divide 20 by 4, it is also a factor of 20. We can divide 20 by minus 4, so minus 4 is also a factor. We can divide 20 by 10, so it is also a factor. Again we can divide 20 by minus 10, it is also a factor. So dear children, when we have more factors, it becomes very difficult for us to guess which are the probable uh, zeros of this polynomial. That is, the value for which this polynomial gives the result 0. So, at least we can guess either 1 or minus 1 as the that is zeros of the above polynomial. So after finding the zero, so finding the one of the factors, we can find the remaining factors of this. So first by dividing, so once we find say one factor of this polynomial, so we have to divide this polynomial by the factor we are going to get. So we are going to get the quadratic polynomial. So we can find the factors of quadratic polynomial by splitting the uh, middle term. So by trial we shall find the zeros of the given polynomial. We can guess minus 1 as a zero of the above polynomial, this polynomial, because p of x is equal to x cube plus 13x square plus 32x plus 20. So remainder is equal to p of minus 1. So minus 1 whole cube plus 13 into minus 1 whole square plus 32 into minus 1 plus 20. So minus 1 whole cube means minus 1. Why? Minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1. Plus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Then minus 1 whole square means plus 1. 13 into plus 1. So minus into plus minus. So 32 into 1, 32 plus 20. So minus 1 plus into plus plus 13 into 1, 13 minus 32 plus 20. So 13 minus 1 plus 12. Minus 32 plus 20 minus 12. Plus 12 and minus 12 get cancelled, remainder is 0. Therefore minus 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. So that means P of minus 1 a is here 0. That means x plus 1 is one of the factor of the given polynomial. Because p of minus 1 is 0 by factor theorem, x plus is one of the factor of the given polynomial. Let us divide the given polynomial, this polynomial, by x plus 1. Now, this is the given polynomial and this is the one of the factor. Here it becomes a divisor. Now what is the first term of this uh, 
क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम एक्स क्यूब दैन डिवाइड बाय द एक्स इयर सो द पावर ऑफ एक्स इज थ्री पावर ऑफ एक्स इज वन बाय लॉ ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट द पावर वन फ्रॉम द पावर थ्री सो थ्री माइनस वन सो एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ टू आर एक्स स्क्वायर सो राइट एक्स स्क्वायर दिस द कोफिशियंट वी गेट वेन वी डिवाइड एक्स क्यूब बाय एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ वन Now multiply x square by x, you'll get x cube. Then one by x square, you'll get zero one x square. Now change the sign because we are doing subtraction. Here x cube and x cube get cancel. It becomes zero. Then thirteen x square minus one x square, it becomes twelve x square plus thirty two x. Then here first term is twelve x square divided by the first term here x. So Twelve as it is, x to the power of two. Then here power is one minus one. Twelve x is the quotient. You write here twelve x. Now multiply twelve x by x. You'll get twelve x square. Then one into twelve x, twelve x. Now change the sign. Now twelve x square and twelve x square get cancelled. It becomes zero. Then thirty two x minus twelve x. Then twenty x plus twenty x. Then plus twenty. Now, here you have twenty x, and you have here x. Now divide twenty x by x. So x x cancels. You'll get twenty as the quotient. Now write plus twenty. That is the third term of the quotient in this division. So multiply x by twenty. You'll get twenty x. Multiply one by twenty. You'll get twenty x. Now change the sign and do the subtraction. So twenty x and uh, minus twenty eight get cancelled. It becomes zero. Twenty and twenty get cancelled. It becomes zero. So that means x square plus twelve x plus twenty is also a factor of the given polynomial. Now let us the split the middle term. So uh, if you are capable of uh, finding the zeros of this polynomial, you can uh, go for finding the The factors by factor theorem. So I want to have little drift. That is a change. So I am splitting this polynomial. That is, I am factorizing this polynomial by splitting the middle term. So multiply x square by twenty, you'll get twenty x square. Then find the factors of twenty x square such that the sum should be twelve x. The factors of twenty x square are ten x and plus ten x and plus two x. Let us add them. You'll get plus twenty x. Now in the play, first term is x square plus in the place of twelve x you write ten x plus two x then the last term is twenty. Now for x square and ten x x is the common factor divide x square by x will get x as the first term divide ten x by x will get ten as the quotient. Now write x and ten with the plus sign in between them within the bracket then plus. So for two and twenty common is two. When you divide two x by two, you'll get x as the first factor. When you divide twenty by two, you'll get ten as the second factor. So x plus ten, you can write within the bracket outside. You write two. So let us verify whether they're correct or not. X into x, x square, x into ten, ten x, two plus two into x, plus two x, plus into plus plus, two into ten, twenty. The factors are correct. Now for this, x plus ten is common. You write x plus ten here. X plus Two is the remaining, because x plus ten is associated with x here. Also, x plus ten is associated to. So you have to write x as the first term. The second is two. This is the common. So in addition to x plus one, x plus ten and x plus two are also the factors. Therefore, the factors of the given expression x square plus thirteen, that is x cube plus thirteen x square plus thirty two x plus twenty r, x plus one into x plus ten into x plus Two. So, dear children, I have done a, a little deviation. That is, I made use of the uh, uh, that is factorization splitting the middle term. You may ask why I have gone for that. Sometimes, so in the beginning I told when the uh, factors are more, it may become difficult. Here, uh, you could also say find the factors of twenty, and also try to find the Uh, factors of this polynomial by factor theorem, but for a 
change i have used the factorization by splitting the middle term now let us go for the the last problem under this main that is fifth a main so 2y cube plus y square minus 2y minus 1 is the given polynomial let us divide the given polynomial by 2 so why because we want to have for here the first term without the coefficient so that we can guess the probable zeros so 2y cube divided by 2y cube y square divided by 2 1 by 2y square minus 2y divided by 2 is minus 1y because 2 and 2 get cancelled because 2 one times 2 one times then minus 1 divided by 2 is minus half so we shall look for the factors of minus half so plus 1 minus 1 plus half and minus half so there are the factors of minus half let us guess plus 1 minus 1 and minus half are the zeros of the polynomial they are the zeros of the given polynomial so we have guess because here the factors are less so we can guess if the factors are more so uh, you have to divide this polynomial by one of the factors so then we have to verify them whether these values will yield zero upon substituting in this given polynomial or not now we know that p of y is equal to 2y cube plus y square minus 2y minus 1 so let us find p of 1 So we can where one is one of the zero two into one cube plus one square minus two into one minus one. Then two one cube means one plus one square means one. Then minus two into plus one minus two minus one two into one two. Then plus one is there minus two and minus one. Then two plus one three and minus two minus one minus three. Then this two get cancelled. P of one is equal to zero. Where remainder is this in place remainder is zero. Therefore, by factor theorem, x minus one is a factor of two y cube plus y square minus two y minus one. So we have found out the one of the factor. Now let us find another factor. So we already guess here another zero that is minus one. Now let us substitute in this equation that will be in the place of y by minus one. So my p of minus one is equal to two into minus one whole cube plus minus one. O square minus two into minus one minus one, two into minus one whole cube means minus one because minus one into minus one plus one plus one into minus one minus one, then minus into minus plus one into one one, then minus into minus plus two into one two, then minus one plus into minus minus two into one two, then plus here two plus one three, then minus one, so. Minus two minus one minus three then plus three minus three and plus three get cancelled so p of minus one is equal to zero the simplest remainder is equal to zero so p of one minus one is equal to zero means by factor theorem x plus one is also a factor of two y cube plus y square minus two y minus one since this is a cubic polynomial it will be having three factors we have found out the two factors let us uh, find the third factor. Now we have guess minus two, also one of the zeros of the given polynomial. Let us substitute in the place of uh, y by minus one by two. We already know p of y is equal to two y cube plus y square minus two y minus one. So p of minus one by one over two is equal to two into minus one over two whole cube plus minus one by two whole square minus two into minus of minus one. So two into here two two is a four. Four to the eight, it becomes here eight. It becomes here eight. Then plus minus into minus plus one into one one two into two four minus into minus plus two into one two over two minus one over one two one times two then two four times eight. We are dividing by cancellation method. Plus one into minus one minus one. Here four is there, right as it is. Plus one over four and two and two get cancelled. So one over one. Minus one over one, so here minus one over four and plus one over four get cancelled. One over plus one over one and minus one get cancelled. So p of minus one one by two is equal to zero. Therefore, remainder is zero. Divided by factor theorem, x plus one by two is also a factor of the given polynomial. We have found the three factors. Therefore, the three factors are x plus one, 
x minus 1 and x plus 1 over 2. So these three are the factors of the given polynomial 2y cube plus y square minus 2y plus 1.